Adding some chlorophyll to my water because I don't think I had a single nutrient yesterday. Also taking my vitamin. This is a daily vitamin from Holier and then a probiotic. This is the probiotic I take. This is the daily vitamin. I also like the ritual ones. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Vlogmas, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Blake. Today is Sunday, December 5th, and we are doing Vlogmas Day 5. I'm just going to take you guys through my typical Sunday. I like to call my Sundays my reset days because I clean, I do laundry, all that good stuff. Prep for the upcoming week. I'm going to do some yoga or meditation or some stretching. I don't really know. I just brought my yoga mat out here, but I want to do some sort of movement. So I'm going to do a little bit of yoga or something and kickstart my day that way. We're going to have a good day. do this. I feel like every time I make coffee, I forget I made it after I have two sips of it. This has been sitting here for probably, I don't know, 45 minutes. I think the only reason that it's still icy is because it's sitting next to this glass wall and it's cold. Also my chlorophyll water. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. So I figured I would show you guys how I plan what I'm going to make for the week. Um, this Papier planner. I linked this in my holiday gift guide. That was my vlogmas yesterday. If you guys want to watch it, please go watch it if you're interested because it took me so, so long to make and edit and make the blog post. So if you're looking for gift ideas, I would really appreciate if you gave that some love. <laughs> um, but yeah, I linked this planner in there. I love this planner. Uh, they have a bunch of different daily planners that have different, um, covers with the same stuff inside so you can get you can get a totally different look but this is the one i have and you can customize it it says my name on top it looks like that so you can write down all of your big things in your calendar for each day of the week and then like your top priorities for the week your most important to do's throughout the entire week and then there's a habit tracker section so typically on this i put drink like 60 to 90 ounces of water a day wake up early um read i'll put like meditation on here i'll put working out so like any habits that you're trying to form in your day-to-day -day routine i always put right there super helpful and then on the next page there's a on the menu section i don't typically fill it out because i have no idea what i'm going to eat each day of the week like i just buy groceries for the whole week but who knows what each individual day is going to be and then next to it on this side there is a shopping list section where i put my groceries for the week i feel like this lighting is so weird my head is like in the one section of shadow um i find a lot of recipes on pinterest i have a board on my pinterest called recipes and I save all the recipes there that I come across on Pinterest that I think sound good to me or are just like a staple I should have. So I save them all in that Pinterest board and I always reference it when I don't know what I wanna make for the week. So I just referenced it now. I'm gonna make roasted vegetables this week, um, probably broccoli, Brussels sprouts, maybe red onion, sweet potato, chickpeas, and I'll just like toss it in salt, pepper, seasonings and then just bake all of that together and then make a dressing with tahini and it's so easy it's such like a easy dish to throw together i'm adding kale and spinach on here as well i always get a couple bags of greens if i want to make a salad or add them to pasta or hide them in a smoothie i'm also gonna make do you guys remember on tiktok there was the trending feta pasta <laughs> i saw that all over my tiktok 
for weeks, maybe a few months ago. And Trader Joe's has a vegan feta that I think is relatively new because I didn't start seeing it till recently, but I want to make the feta pasta with it. So I'm gonna get that feta, probably oregano, cherry tomatoes. I already have garlic. That sounds so good to me. I hope it actually is good. <laughs> that is everything I'm putting on my list this week. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? It's currently cloudy and 44 degrees. Ooh. Expect rain starting in the morning. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 45 degrees. Expect rain? It didn't rain this morning. <laughs> 45 degrees right now sounds lovely to me. There were a couple really cold days last week and it was just like gloomy and coldy. Gloomy and coldy. <laughs> And cold. <laughs> what? Um, so 45 and sunny? Sounds wonderful to me. I wonder what the rest of the week is gonna be. Tomorrow's gonna be 61. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, it's supposed to snow on Wednesday and Friday. I'm excited for it to snow. I'm going on a snowboarding trip next weekend with just a bunch of friends. Kirsten and I are doing like a joint birthday trip because her birthday is around Christmas and mine's around Thanksgiving so we're just doing something smack dab in the middle and neither of us went snowboarding last season and a couple of my friends coming have never skied or snowboarded so they're gonna be newbies too I think it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun trip and a lot of us are gonna um, probably be really bad but <laughs> it'll be fun I'm excited let's go to Trader Joe's Line at Trader Joe's was so long. I also got, I think, flowers delivered. I think that's what these are. From my secret admirer. Just kidding. <laughs> They're from a brand. <laughs> but they got delivered yesterday while I was away all day. No, I'm, I'm nervous that they're not alive. Oh, they are alive. These are from Urban Stems. They reached out to me and asked if they could um, send me a flower arrangement. And I love flowers, so I'm really excited. I'm stop them. I dropped the vase though, but it survived. Oh my God, they sent them in a little vase. That's perfect. They're looking a little sad, so I need to put them in water. But I'm very impressed that they are um, alive still. I usually buy flowers for myself on Sundays because um, I just love to have fresh flowers and you should treat yourself to flowers. I was about to buy flowers and then I remembered that these were delivered. So sweet of them to send me these. Got some pasta. I love the gluten-free pasta. It's brown rice pasta from Trader Joe's. Um, this Korean sweet potato glass noodle stir fry. I like this, but I've tried it before and I've told you guys that I think it's kind of just like a little bit underwhelming, but if you just add your own sauce, like add a little bit of toasted sesame oil, maybe some soy sauce, just add something because I feel like it's a little too plain. I got some vegan caramelized onion dip, and some pita chips to eat with it. This is my favorite non-dairy milk, almond, cashew, macadamia nut milk, some, <laughs> some lemons. <laughs> grape, thought someone was knocking on my door. Uh, grape tomatoes, vegan feta. What is this even made of? Water, coconut oil, potato starch, potato protein, sea salt, natural flavors, and brine, which is water and sea salt. That's like super minimal compared to what I thought it was gonna be. Um, sunflower butter cups, broccoli, kale, spinach. This spinach looks like it's on its last days. Brussels sprouts, chickpeas, maple syrup. Do you guys say syrup or syrup? Sweet potatoes. And last but not least, strawberry dairy-free yogurts. 4.30 and it is basically dark. In the summer, the sun sets right there, so it comes into my apartment. But in the winter, it sets too far that direction, so I don't see it. But it's still so pretty. I've lived here since June and I'm still not over the view. I just cannot get over how beautiful it is. I'm so lucky to have it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I adore this. My tree makes it so cozy in here, I love it. I can't wait till it starts to snow and I can just watch it in here. I ordered Indian because 
I just can't be bothered to cook. Every time I go grocery shopping on Sunday, like I have all this new food in the fridge, but I never want to cook it. I always order takeout on Sundays. Always. I don't know why. I have all this new food. Does anyone else do this? I literally do it every Sunday. Here it is. Yum. I'm gonna watch a movie while I eat this because it just feels like a movie night, you know? Santa girl, what's that? No, that's gonna be a no for me. Looking my best. I just put this face mask on from Dermalogica. It's their Hydro Mask Exfoliant. Uh, it has little like exfoliating beads in it that you massage in and then you just let it sit for a bit and rinse it off and I look terrifying. I am also doing a hair mask tonight. I'm using the Jisoo Honey Infused Hair Mask. This stuff smells so good. I'm trying to make sure my towel doesn't fall down. I'm gonna let that sit for like 10 minutes and then I'm gonna hop back in the shower and rinse both of these off. I am obsessed with this stuff. I'm using this spot treatment from Kate Somerville. It's called Eradicate because my skin is being a brat today. I just walked out here and realized that I haven't put my sheets on my bed since I washed them. cozy. I'm in my comfy set from Viore again. I love these jogger sets. They're so cozy. I am off to bed. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.